Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. The Evolution of Car Engines, From Steam to Electric Imagine starting your car and thinking about the journey its engine has taken to propel you forward. From the clunky steam engines of the 19th century to today's sleek electric motors, car engines haven't just evolved, they've transformed the way we move. This evolution hasn't only changed speed and efficiency, it's reshaped the entire automotive landscape. Internal combustion engines dominated much of the 20th century, but electric vehicles are leading the charge in the 21st century. Understanding this shift is key to appreciating the engineering marvels on our roads today. Join us as we explore how technological advances have brought us to this thrilling point in automotive history. The Early Years, Steam and Internal Combustion Engines The journey of car engines has been nothing short of revolutionary. As we navigate through this transformation, let's start from the beginning when steam ruled the roads and internal combustion was just a spark in an inventor's mind. The Steam Engine Era In the 18th and 19th centuries, steam engines were the driving force behind early automobiles. Have you ever wondered why steam engines were so popular back then? They were like the first wave of innovation, much like how smartphones changed the way we communicate. These engines worked by heating water to create steam, which then pushed pistons to move the vehicle. Notable examples. The Cugno Fardier in 1769. Built by Nicholas Joseph Cugno. This three-wheeled vehicle is considered one of the first self-powered road vehicles. The Locomotive Act of 1865 This British act required steam-powered vehicles to travel a mere four miles per hour in the countryside and two in towns, highlighting their limited functionality. However, steam engines had their flaws. They were bulky, slow to start, and often required large amounts of coal or wood. It was like having a giant, demanding pet that you had to feed constantly, making them less practical for personal transportation. The Birth of Internal Combustion Engines As the 19th century drew to a close, inventors were searching for something better. That's when the internal combustion engine entered the scene, changing the automotive landscape forever. This type of engine burns fuel inside the engine itself allowing for a more compact and efficient system. Key Inventors and Innovations, Nikolaus Otto In 1876, Otto developed the four-stroke engine, also known as the Otto Cycle, which became the standard for future internal combustion engines. Carl Benz In 1886, Benz patented the first automobile with a gasoline-powered internal combustion engine, paving the way for modern cars. Rudolf Diesel By 1897, Diesel introduced an engine variant that operated at higher efficiencies and became the backbone of heavy machinery. These engines were like the dawn of a new age. They were smaller, quicker to start, and could be fueled easily with gasoline, which offered more freedom and convenience to users. As a result, internal combustion engines began to dominate, leading to the automobile boom of the 20th century. Understanding these early innovations helps us appreciate how far we've come. The shift from steam to internal combustion was not just about changing technology, it was about transforming how we move and live. Keep this in mind as we continue exploring the fascinating evolution of car engines. The Rise of the Gasoline Engine As the 20th century unfolded, gasoline engines became the heart of the automobile revolution. Their dominance in the early to mid-1900s transformed transportation, laying the foundation for the cars we know today. Let's explore two key factors that fueled this rise. Henry Ford and mass production. Imagine trying to build a thousand-piece puzzle without a picture on the box, challenging, right? That's what car production felt like before Henry Ford introduced his revolutionary assembly line. In 1913, Ford's methodical approach turned what was once an art into an exact science. The assembly line was a game-changer, 
its standardized production and slashed manufacturing time. This efficiency made cars more affordable and shifted the automotive industry into high gear. Standardized parts Each piece of the car was made in the same way, making it easier to assemble quickly. Lower costs By speeding up production, costs dropped, allowing more people to afford cars. Increased availability Cars weren't just for the rich anymore, they became a staple for the everyday family. Ford didn't just build cars, he built a new way of life. His vision wasn't just about making engines, it was about putting America on wheels. Advancements in engine technology While Ford was busy with production, engineers were hard at work making gasoline engines more efficient and powerful. Early engines guzzled gas like a thirsty athlete, but innovations turned them into well-oiled machines. Here's how. Carburetors and fuel injection. Initially, carburetors mixed fuel and air for the engine. Think of it like a blender. Eventually, fuel injection took over, allowing for precise fuel delivery, improving power and fuel economy. Turbocharging. Turbochargers became popular, adding a forceful kick to performance. They allowed engines to breathe better and get more energy out of each drop of gasoline, similar to how a bellows blows air into a fire to make it burn hotter. These advancements meant cars could go farther while using less fuel. It was like turning a sledgehammer into a scalpel, more efficient and effective. Gasoline engines became the standard because they adapted to the needs of the time. They provided the power and efficiency people wanted and needed, driving society into a new era of mobility. The Era of Diesel Engines The story of diesel engines is like opening a novel filled with torque, power, and durability. Diesel engines have long been the workhorses of the automotive industry, powering everything from hefty trucks to compact passenger cars. Let's explore what makes diesel engines tick and the challenges they've faced over time. Benefits of Diesel Engines Diesel engines come with a host of advantages that have made them popular, especially for those who need a reliable workhorse. What sets them apart? Fuel Efficiency Diesel engines are champions when it comes to fuel economy. Unlike gasoline engines, diesel's process of compression ignition means more energy can be extracted from the fuel. This means you can travel farther without having to refill, which is a win for your wallet and the planet. Torque and Power If you're hauling heavy loads, diesel engines offer a strong helping hand with their superior torque. Torque is like the muscle of an engine, and diesel has it in spades. This is why you often see them in trucks and buses, where carrying capacity and pulling power are crucial. Longevity these engines are known for their durability. Think of them as the marathon runners of engines, designed to last long distances and withstand the test of time with proper maintenance. Diesel engines aren't just about efficiency, it's like having a trusty sidekick that's built for the long haul. Environmental regulations and diesel's challenges. However, the journey of diesel hasn't been without its bumps. As environmental consciousness grows, diesel engines face rising scrutiny. Emission concerns Diesel engines naturally produce more nitrogen oxides, NOx, and particulate matter than gasoline engines. These emissions have contributed to concerns about air quality and climate change. Regulations impact Governments worldwide have stepped in with stricter emission standards. This has pushed manufacturers to innovate, often requiring advanced exhaust treatment systems. But these can increase costs, making diesel less appealing to the everyday driver. Public perception In recent years, diesel has become somewhat of a black sheep due to its environmental impact. It's like being under a spotlight where everyone sees your flaws. This has led to a decline in diesel vehicle sales especially in the passenger car market. Stay tuned for part two, 
where we'll dive into the era of gasoline and diesel engines. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.